Hello friends! I'm here to share inspiration from In Divine Friendship, Letters of Counsel and Reflection by Swami Kriyananda. Uh, and this letter is to a devotee facing a serious test. This is just an excerpt from that letter. Self-reliance is an important quality. Many people, alas, have allowed this wonderful teaching of both Emerson and Thoreau to reinforce their own egos. That application of their teaching, unfortunately, simply does not work. Not to depend too much on the opinions of others is good, provided one's resolution is to stand firmly by truth. It's not good, however, if it means being simply stubbornly committed to one's own opinions. Self-reliance must be balanced by humility before that infinite reality of which we are all a part. Wow, I thought this was such uh, a powerful and important message here that Swamiji is sharing with us, that self-reliance is an important quality, but we don't want it to reinforce our egos. We want it to be a reminder of that deeper self-reliance of the self, of our infinite nature in God, our soul nature. And yet, at the same time, it's a stepping stone to be self-reliant, um, to not depend, like Swamiji is saying, like uh, crutches on the opinions of other people, leaning one way, the other way, what do you think, what do you think, and not really uh, being clear in our own self. One time someone asked Swami Kriyananda, what is the best yoga posture? And he said, that one which allows you to stand firmly on your own two feet. You know, within our own self, within the center of our own being, lies the answer to all of the questions we've ever had. So how do we become more self-reliant and balance it into that infinite self? Well, this is where daily meditation is so important that we're becoming absorbed, not in the little self, but in that great light of God within us, the great self. And it's important too in our meditation to not play with thoughts to allow our mind and consciousness to become uplifted and absorbed in the self. And then we will realize the only thing we ever can rely on is that one self who resides in all.